Hello, my name is Professor G. R. Sina. I am going to discuss reciprocity and symmetricity. Reciprocal network and symmetrical network we have heard in many subjects, many, many uh, subjects in which these things are common. Uh, this may be computer network, this may be network analysis, this may be analog circuit. There are many subjects in which these two terms appear, these two terms come. Reciprocity is the property. Symmetricity is the property. Reciprocity is the property and if this property is observed, if this property is uh, true, then that network is reciprocal network. Simil similarly, if symmetricity property exists in any network that is valid, then we call the network as symmetrical network. So, in order to understand the whether the network is symmetrical, whether the two-port network, which is actually two-port device, is reciprocal network or symmetrical network, we need to understand. We need to understand by its properties. So the properties may be in terms of various two-port parameters. As we know that there are uh, mainly four types of different uh, two-port parameters. Z parameters, Y parameters, H parameters and ABCD parameters. If you try to write the conditions for reciprocal network and symmetrical network in terms of Z parameters, we very well know the definition of Z parameters, Z11, Z12, then Z12, Z21. Let us try to understand the reciprocity, that is the condition for reciprocal network. Z12, how do we get Z12? Actually, Z12 is V1 upon I2, I1 equal to 0, that is the condition. And Z21 is V2 upon I1 with I2 equal to 0. What is more important is, this is the ratio of V1 and I2. And what is V1? See this two-port network, V1 is excitation in the input and I2 is the response of the network in the output. So, how does, how does the two-port network respond to the excitation V1? And if the, in the similar manner, if the reciprocal network, if this network is reciprocal and this, if this network is reciprocal means if a subject one excitation in the second port, that is V2 is the now excitation in the second port, output port, and we get the response I1 with respect to V2. That ratio is V2 upon I1. Let V2 be excitation in the second port, which was earlier input uh, output port. Now it has become input port. Then the response is I1 in the input port side. So in the reciprocal network, the excitation to response ratio always remains same. So what is the condition? The condition is Z12 is equal to Z12. Z12 is equal to Z21. This is the condition. And in very simple words, I always used to uh, make my students understand, we use this reciprocity and reciprocal, uh, its verb term is reciprocate. We use this reciprocate very commonly. When some, some greeting is sent by some of our friend or some of our, you know, you know peer, they write uh, uh, some, some message to us and they greet us. And in reply, what do we do? We simply type, we can type, I reciprocate you to. I reciprocate you to means, the, the, with, with that uh, emotion which you had sent the message and you, 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 you had thought that uh, this would be the response, this would be response in me, in the, with, with same feeling and same emotion I am sending the message by writing simply I reciprocate you too and I want the same happiness in you after my greeting. So this is a very common term, reciprocity, reciprocal network. Reciprocal network is a network where you send excitation here, you get response there, you gives excitation input there and get response here and that ratio remains always same. As far as the other conditions, other conditions I mean the condition for reciprocity in terms of other parameters is concerned in terms of ABCD parameters that is A equal to T. In terms of Y parameter, Y1, uh, this, this is actually condition for symmetricity. This side, the condition of reciprocity is there. In terms of ABCD, AD minus BC is equal to 1. In terms of Y parameters, admittance parameters, Y12 equal to Y21. In terms of H parameters, hybrid parameters, H12 is equal to minus of H21. Let us go to symmetrical network. Then we will understand how do we get this, this, these conditions using different uh, parameters. We will try to explain the conditions of reciprocity and symmetricity in terms of Z par in terms of ABCD parameters. Once we have determined the conditions, in terms of Z parameters, how will we how will we get the conditions in terms of other parameters quickly? We will try to understand. But before that, let us try to understand symmetricity. That is, if the network is symmetrical, the property is symmetricity. And that is very simple. What is Z11? 
this kind of input impedance with output open circuit. And what is Z22? Output that is output impedance with input open circuit. V2 upon I1 and V1 upon I1. So if this is any any structure, any structure is symmetrical. If you see any structure as a symmetrical structure, you see from this side or that side, it looks same, it appears same. But in technical manner, in terms of network properties manner, the impedance which you try to enter to, to through this this side or that side, the impedance offered by the network remains same. And therefore we write Z11 equal to Z22. And if this condition is there for symmetricity, this is condition in terms of Z parameters. In terms of other two port parameters, in terms of ABCD parameters, this is A is equal to D. In terms of Y parameters, Y11 equal to Y22. In terms of H parameters, delta H is equal to 1. What is del H? It is determinant of H parameters because we write H parameter as H11, H12, H21, H22. Right? This is the parameter in matrix form. So its determinant is H11, H22 minus H12, H21 equal to 0. So that is the condition for symmetricity in terms of H parameters. Let us try to understand how do we get these relations, how do we get these different conditions in terms of different parameters. Let us quickly understand how do we get the conditions for reciprocity and symmetricity in terms of ABCD parameters. For that we need to understand how ABCD parameters are defined. ABCD parameters are defined V1, I1 as AV2 minus VI2, CV2 minus DI2. What we are required to do only? We know that for reciprocity, Z12 equal to Z21. For symmetrical network, Z11 equal to Z22. So what do we want? We want Z12 and Z21 in terms of ABCD parameters. We want Z11 and Z22 in terms of ABCD parameters. And the condition is, we can see A equal to D in terms of ABCD parameters for symmetricity. So if I want to get Z11 in terms of uh, ABCD parameters, what is Z11? It is V1 upon I1, I2 equal to 0. V1 upon I1, I2 equal to 0 is very simply A upon C. That is A by C. What is Z22? Z22 is V2 upon I2, I1 equal to 0. See that. V2 upon I2, I1 equal to 0 is simply D by C. So once we have conditions in terms of Z parameters, we can have conditions in terms of other uh, two port parameters in seconds, in seconds only. One can see that Z11 equal to Z22, so A by C equal to D by C and the condition A by A is equal to D is derived. In the similar manner, we can write Z12 and Z21 in terms of ABCD parameters. Z12 is V1 upon I2, I1 equal to 0. See that V1 upon I2, we want V1 upon I2 and I1 equal to 0. So we can substitute V2 there. V2 is equal to C by D. Uh, that is uh, V2 is equal to D by C. So AD minus BC. AD minus BC divided by C. This Z12 is coming as AD minus BC by C. And what is Z21? Z21 is V2 upon I1, I2 equal to 0. Let us substitute I2 equal to 0. And V2 upon I1 comes as 1 upon C. 1 upon C. So I think uh, uh, we can see very easily Z12 is AD minus BC by C and Z21 is 1 upon C. It hardly took uh, less than a minute, it hardly took few seconds and Z12 is, is, is equal to Z21 for reciprocal network that is the condition for a reciprocal network as a reciprocity condition. We can make them equal, equal then AD minus BC becomes 1 and we have noted here as AD minus BC is equal to 1 and this is how we can determine the conditions for reciprocity and symmetricity for any two port network in terms of different two port parameters. Let me recapitulate that is reciprocal network is the network where reciprocity exists. What is the reciprocity? The excitation to response ratio always remains same for a network that condition is reciprocity. What is symmetricity? You see from any side it looks same. The impedance offered by the network from any port remains same. That is the condition for symmetricity. So in terms of uh, all the two port parameters, we can uh, we can summarize the condition for reciprocity as Z12 equal to Z21 is the condition in terms of Z parameters. AD minus BC is equal to 1 in terms of ABCD parameters. Y12 equal to Y21 in terms of Y parameters. H12 equal to minus H21 in terms of H parameters. Let us summarize the condition for symmetricity, symmetrical network in terms of all the parameters. In terms of Z parameters, this is Z11 equal to Z22. In terms of ABCD parameters, A equal to D. 
in terms of y parameters y11 equal to y22 and in terms of h parameters hybrid parameters this becomes delta h is equal to 1 that is h11 h22 minus h12 h21 is equal to 1 so this is all about the conditions of symmetricity and reciprocity and how do we uh, how do we come to know that the given network is reciprocal or symmetrical network thank you